Hey guys, I'm Actual Dracula, and welcome to Covered with Scorpions. Covered with Scorpions! For the week of April 19th, 2023, I'll be showing you my favorite covers to hit the shelves this new comic book day, including 5A covers, 5 variants, and 4 bonus category covers. Let's start off with the standard A covers, and my first pick is Nightwing 103, with this Bruno Redondo cover featuring a comic book spinner rack's brother from another mother, a postcard spinner rack, full of souvenir postcards to mail your loved ones while you are on your vacation in Bloodhaven. Next up is Catwoman 54, and this cover by David Nakayama, who gives us a very shiny and adorable Selena Kyle. Yeah, she may have a sword and combat boots, but does not look very intimidating with uh, those big eyes and big floppy ears. But I like that juxtaposition, and it's perfectly suited to Nakayama's clean lines and borderline cartoon-like style. Another DC cover pick with Superman issue 3 and this awesome Jamal Campbell cover. Lois and Clark here locking lips quite literally as a parasitic lotus attempts to transform Superman into another hangry, life-sucking parasite. Next is House of Slaughter, issue 14. Although I'm a fan of Something is Killing the Children, I have not read this series yet, though it always has some really great covers, including this gory number by Matthias Manhanini. Finally, to wrap up my A cover picks, I've chosen The Last Barbarians 3 with this fantastic painted cover by series creator Brian Haberlin and features a steely-eyed, scarlet-haired warrior wielding what appears to be either a torch or maybe even a sword made of fire. Either way, pretty badass cover. For my top 5 variant picks, let's begin with one of the many Alex Ross Timeless variants. And this week, I'm going with one of my favorites yet, the cover for Avengers Assemble Omega Issue 1 with a close-up portrait of Galactus. Even though you can't see most of his iconic costume, you immediately recognize it as Galactus, and this extreme close-up helps to convey the scale of this character. I also really love the color choice here with that splash of green highlight. Next up is Magic Order Volume 4, Issue 4, and this is the Jody Muir variant. I have no idea who this dude is, but I do know I love everything about this cover. The pink sky, the animal skull, it is very metal and a very badass cover. My next pick is Captain America Unforgiven Issue 1, the EM Gist variant. Gist is one of my favorite cover artists working today, and this is a phenomenal example of his work. The combination of the saturated colors on Cap's costume and the jet black shadows against that blood red background is stunning. This is simply an excellent eye-catching cover. I couldn't decide which one of these I liked more, so my last two variant picks are for the same book, Hallow's Eve Issue 2, the Ryan Brown variant, and the 1 in 25 incentive Terry and Rachel Dodson variant. I love both of these covers. My guy Ryan Brown, who I featured last week with his awesome Ewoks cover, kills it once again with this Hallow's Eve piece, and the Dodsons have an equally impressive cover. And both of these are keeping the spirit of Halloween alive and well in the month of April. Now we'll be looking at four additional categories, homage, wildcard, WTF, and vamp cover. There are a few cool homage covers dropping this week, but none of them hold a candle to my pick for homage cover of the week, which is Punisher 11. This is actually the A cover by Jesus Saiz, with this homage to Mike Zek's iconic cover for Captain America Annual 8. Uh, now, this is a little different from the majority of homage covers we see, which are typically a straight-up cover swipe, whereas here Saiz has created a brand new image, but one uh, that clearly pays homage to the Zek cover. The next category is Wildcard, a cover I have decided to highlight for its uniqueness, and this week I have picked PP Poo Poo Comics 420. This cover from creator Carolyn Cash Parodies Daniel Klaus, the main character here, is even saying, it's my 8-ball look, and this cover is unique in that I do believe it will be the only book to hit shelves this week that features the words pee-pee-poo-poo -poo on the cover, and because I'm an immature jackass, that's enough to get me to pick this up. Now, if I'm wrong about that, and there are more books that feature the words pee-pee-poo-poo -poo on the cover this week, please let me know in the comments. My WTF cover of the week is Harrower, issue 3, the 1 in 15 incentive variant by Aaron Campbell. I don't really need to say anything about this. 
just uh, drink this into your eye holes really soak it in and let it sear it uh, right into your brain and uh, pleasant dreams and pleasant screams Finally, my vamp cover of the week is Vampiris Carmilla, issue 15. This series revives the classic Warren horror magazine with new artwork from some of the original artists. But as cool as that is, the cover alone is a reason to pick this up as we have a stellar piece of artwork from one of the masters of fantasy, horror, and sci-fi, the one and only Frank Frazetta. And that will do it for this episode of Covered with Scorpions. Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with these picks? Which ones are your favorites? Uh, are there any covers I omitted that deserve to make this list? Uh, I was planning on dropping these on Mondays, uh, but Tuesdays will work better for me. So be sure, be sure to tune in next Tuesday so that uh, you can once again see some comic book covers and be covered in scorpions. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Covered with scorpions.